Here's something you might not know. Season 2 Reloaded of Modern Warfare 2 has a new Easter egg that on one hand is pretty easy in theory to complete, but actually doing it is potentially the tough part. Today we're running down how to get the free exclusive blueprint, the Beastmaker cast off 74U from the classified Easter egg that was added to Modern Warfare 2 with Season 2 Reloaded. As we go along, do me a favor, if you enjoy this or find it all insightful, drop a like, drop your thoughts as well if you're going for this, and of course, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. And finally, use code ESPRESSO for 30% off certain items over at G Fuel for the month of March, like Starfruit and Peach Rings tubs. Both great options, linked below if interested. But for now, let's jump into how to complete the new classified Easter egg in Modern Warfare 2. So the classified Easter egg deals with the brand new raid episode 2, which even if you didn't want to go through to finish this Easter egg, it's honestly not bad. It's a fun playthrough, much better than the first in terms of a playable experience. It's much more enjoyable and opens up the story quite a bit. A universal linking that you might not see coming, solidifying the Modern Warfare and Black Ops universes even further, post Warzone 1 era, the return of a fan favorite character, and other things. So it's not bad and it's a relatively quick playthrough once you get it down, but anyways, this quest comes from here. In perfect fashion for Infinity Ward and their seeming affinity for key cards and access cards, that's what you're going to be chasing down here in this one. Three key cards in particular, all of which honestly are completed around the halfway mark of the raid, the entire thing being done. But what you're looking for is key card A, a key card with a letter B, and a key card with a letter C in that order, and a disclaimer right up front, which will reiterate a couple of times, you cannot die once you gain any of these cards, or you have to restart the entire run, which is why it gets potentially tough and stressful for this Easter egg. Now, these three are kind of time trials, but you have to know where to look in order for them to spawn or more accurately drop and that you can be able to catch them in time. Each key card is kept on the person of an AI patrolling the areas that they're found in. The first one, key card A, is found in the very first room that you find enemies, just outside of that spawn area. You have to climb up and scale a little bit to get into some corridors of the silo, but from here, you want to take an immediate left and another left and clear out that room with combatants. And as fast as possible because if the key card AI gets away, he won't drop it and then you won't have access to the locked rooms to complete the Easter egg. The first of three time trials essentially within this Easter egg. The only part about time is being crucial is getting the kill. Now, of course, if you do miss this one and you have to restart, honestly, it's not the end of the world because you're probably only 30 seconds to a minute in at most here in regards to your raid run through. Where you have to restart later on down the line, that's when it gets more frustrating, more irritating, and especially if you have to do it over and over. But once you find that first key card, you'll be want to grab it and then you want to keep moving and the second key card is a bit tougher than the first i think but still manageable you just need to know where you're looking because timing really comes into play with this one and the third key card as well but we'll get there in a second the second key card will be at the first vent platforming stage of the raid this coming after you scale the silo and have to work as a team to shut off the steam valves and then crawl through the hallway and ventilation shaft to follow now before you head up the big stairs that take you to this area take a second and recognize that you'll encounter three ai in the upcoming stage two of which will shoot at you, one will kind of run off and try to hide before you get to the vents console to activate it. In the first stage here, there's a catwalk up to the right. That's how you safely get back to the air quote spawn point of this checkpoint without killing yourself if your teammate or teammates fall, as well as a platform on the other side. That catwalk will have two AI on it, one in the front, which is more visible and the one who will be shooting at you, and one whose spawn point is kind of behind a metal beam a few meters behind that AI. That one behind the metal beam is who is more important, and again, speed is necessary as that AI will walk. He won't fire at you, but he'll walk and go behind a locked door. So if you do not kill him fast enough, he'll be gone for good and won't drop that key card. So you have to start the whole raid over again because you're missing one. And I don't believe at that point it's a checkpoint stage yet where you can just simply respawn it. So it takes you all the way back. Again, not the biggest deal because you still are pretty early in the raid, but it can get frustrating to do that over and over again. Now, if you do take out that AI, you're then tasked with making it across the vent parkour stage. To activate this, if you haven't played the raid yet, you'll need someone to call out and then at the same time, all three players hit the button on the console for the ventilation system to start. Then go one at a time because the weight of two players cannot hold on the vents and you'll fall to your death. This is the easiest of them, so I trust you'll be able to make this one work, but do be conscious this is just the first of the venting parkour challenges. Now, if you had that first key card in your inventory and if you fall to your death, you will lose that key card on respawn and have to start the whole raid over again. So once you die, you respawn with your guns and such, but anything in your backpack's inventory does not stay, so you cannot get that key card again. Again, which comes back to, again, that intro mention of it being a near perfect, not flawless, but near perfect to a degree. If someone falls who doesn't have the key card, you're fine. You just need to restart that specific vent trial. Just know that if you full die with that key card, 
that's when you really get in trouble. But okay, the venting parkour introduced a few more obstacles overall, but once you complete that first venting trial, all you have to do is climb up the ladder on the right side to get up to the catwalk like you would meet over with the other team to restart the trial, and you'll find that key card there. That's two of three. The third key card is going to be just on the air quote other side of this trial. To end up going to the next stage, you have to end up scaling the silo a little bit further where you take a zip line. Again, if you have not played through this, you're not familiar with the layout of this raid just yet, take a second, regroup, and realize where you have to be looking for this next part. The next parkour trial is right after the zip line upwards, but also once you end up getting up top there, that's when the AI will start to retreat. So this one is almost entirely on whoever takes that zip line first. When you get up to the zip line, look across, out over the gap, and then up to the balcony across the way, even higher than you are, and you should see an AI spawn up there, drop them quickly, and then it comes down to simply clearing that way through the next parkour trial again. This one, it's a bit different as you'll need to jump the gap entirely and scale different levels. You go from the vents down to the lower vents, climb up the piping, over the vents, over the next side, and then jumping down. So it's kind of a big multi-level loop, but once you complete that, you'll find a ladder where you can end up getting to the catwalk to climb back over if someone had fallen, but instead of heading back to that spawn point or that start, you want to jump across the other catwalk where you killed the AI and pick up the card. Once you do that, well, congrats, you have three of three, but you're not out of the woodwork just yet. That's actually where perhaps the toughest challenge still lies ahead. So at this point, to recap, everyone should have a key card. Admittedly, I'm not sure if you can give all the key cards to one player. My squad mates said they had tested it. But personally, we didn't try it together in these runs to know for sure, but the safer bet, just have one per player. But as we'll reiterate, now is the time where you cannot full die. So that includes being finished by AI, dying to fire, as you'll see in the next trial, and of course, falling to your death in one final sort of venting parkour trial. So make sure you play it carefully. The next round is where you have to be careful with that fire because you have an ascension trial where you have to scale the silo with AI shooting at you, but the one part where you have to zip line up, it's blocked by fire. So your team needs to hit the valve and allow for the opening. And that's when you want to take it. It takes communication and timing. But if you do get hit by that fire, it's instant death. It's not just you go down, you die full and you'll lose that key card. And for reference, if you do get downed by AI, you can be revived. It's just the fact that you cannot be full killed at this point. So just know that going forward. Otherwise, you'll have to restart the entire raid, which at this point, you're about 10, maybe 15 minutes in, depending on how fast you're scaling it. So you do start to lose a lot of time if you have to restart. Now, the final trial here before you can end up completing this Easter egg is one final vent parkour trial. This one, it's a little tougher. And of course, no one is allowed to die. So you have to be on point with your team. The difference with this one that makes it a little bit tricky is the left side when you start, you go on, you should be aware that the very last one is a decoy. It has a sort of gated off catwalk that you can't jump across to the other side. So just know that one. You can recover if you get trapped back there, but you'll be the last in line at that point and it gets really close on timing. But then the second half of this, so the right side of the wall as you're looking at it from the start, the timing of those first four vents are double time and pace. So they're faster to go up and faster to come down. But note that that's only from the first placing of whoever's in line first. So the run you're seeing, I was second in line. So it was my third one that I had had to pause on because I'm waiting for my teammate to get clear on that fourth. So be fully aware of this because if you jump too quick and you land on your teammates, you will both fall. And guess what? If you have key cards, you have to restart the whole thing. So if there's anything to be careful on, it is 100% this one, because at that point, you'll basically ruin 15 plus minutes of work for potentially one misstep. So just be aware of that. But best case scenario, you land safely on the other side. This is where you collect your reward. Climb the ladder on the left side and you'll be able to get to that catwalk where if you had to restart, you drop down, but do not drop down. Stay up there because that's where the initial entryway is for the door that requires the key cards. And here's where you interact with that door. Just simply have all three players interact and the door will open up. And inside is a hidden passageway that in terms of like Easter eggs for storyline, there's really not a whole ton. I kind of thought there would be more, but at the very end of that hallway, there's a bench where you'll be met with the beast maker weapon blueprint unlocked message and you can pick it up and even use it for the remainder of the raid that's the easter egg for season two reloaded you've completed it now the rest it's entirely inconsequential to the raid it's just kind of side quest it doesn't give any secret cutscene or anything like that it just grants you that blueprint for the cast of 74u which that blueprint comes kitted with the fss ov laser the sock and tread 40 muzzle the 45 round magazine the true tack grip and the spetsnaz s10 stock so it's stated to be pro tuned for magazine capacity aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed unfortunately with all these blueprints that are pro tuned you can't actually see how they're tuned unless you go in which then negates all the tuning so that's something that still is a weird issue that modern warfare 2 has but based off the attachments it's surprisingly a pretty good build in regards to that like it slightly differs from what i put on it normally and i mean 
ever so slightly. I'll play with a barrel sometimes rather than a muzzle, and the stock is only slightly different. I use that Markiev R7, but the Spetsnaz S10 stock is essentially the Markiev R7, but with added aiming stability for an extra con of decreases in that aim walking movement speed. So realistically, it's not bad at all, and truth be told, I do kind of think it looks pretty cool. Is it the best looking blueprint and design we've ever seen? Not at all, but it sure as hell beats the veteran raid blueprint from season one Reloaded's first raid episode, and is in line with what I'd say is the increasing cool factor of blueprint designs recently, but hey, I mean, for a free blueprint, I'll absolutely take it. All it cost was really some sweaty palms and some stress during our two run-throughs, which thankfully it didn't take us too long to complete, but it is something that I definitely think that if you guys are not aware of how the raid will actually run through, it might take a little bit longer. If you speed run it a couple of times, you absolutely can make it through with relative ease, but that's how you end up taking advantage of the first Easter egg reward in Modern Warfare 2. Honestly, I do hope that these continue on, either in further raid episodes going forward, or even honestly into Warzone and DMZ, perhaps, I think would be awesome. Maybe all of the above. I would love that as an Easter egg hunter, but that's just me personally, but that's what we're going to call it. That is the Easter egg and how to complete it. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys going to be going for this yourself? Do you guys care at all? Do you like the blueprint reward? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, if you found it out on insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to almost a single thing getting all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.